हजुर विश्वभरि चरण भएका आदरणीय नेपाली भाषीहरु Happy Father's Day tapai mother haru le mitho mitho chia pokar khonu hola father haru lai ani tapai father haru jaile pani ngang ngang nagarikana khushi le parivar ko suraksha garnu hola akere vasta garnu hola suraksha garnu hola aba hami bachan sunne chau hamro pastor tot hununcha ani esla anubad garna samil bhai le sahayata garnu hunecha hami sabai jana esbar aashirwad banne chau tara aile father haru ko lagi tapai father ko lagi choto prarthna garchu hai prabhu tapai la dhanyabad yo din tapai le dinu bhayo यो समय तपाईले दिनुभयो बुबा भन्ने नाम पनि तपाईले दिनुभयो र तपाई भन्नुहुन्छ म तिमीहरुको पिता हुँ अनि त्यसरी नै तपाईको गुण आज मानिसहरुमा दिनु भएको छ यी मानिसहरुले तपाईले जस्तै आफ्नो परिवारलाई वास्ता गर्न छोराछोरीलाई वास्ता गर्न निरन्तर तपाईको ज्ञान र बुद्धिले भर्नुहोस् यीशु प्रभुको नाममा आमेन हुन्छ अहिले भने पास्टर टट र सामेल अगाडि बोलाउँछौ ताली बजाउनुस् है Well, this morning, today, this afternoon, what time is it? It's this afternoon. Uh, today we celebrate Father's Day. Now I know that this is sort of an American holiday. Is there, a, is there an equivalent in... It's in Nepal, too. Yeah. So this morning I want to, or still this afternoon, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what time it is. I didn't preach this morning, so now I'm confused. I'm still in the morning. Because of what day it is, I want to speak a little bit about grace and fatherhood. Now I know that it's risky to talk sort of to one particular group in a congregation. Because if I say I want to talk about fatherhood, then all the mothers and all the children might just close their ears and not listen. But I want you to stay with me anyway. I want you to recognize that whether you're a father or a mother or a child or maybe one day going to be a father or a mother, there's important truth in this scripture today. Now here's the other thing that I recognize. I recognize that there are differences culturally have you noticed some of those differences maybe okay so the risk might be that you might say well you're an american father so how can you tell us how to be better Okay, so the way that we avoid that problem is we focus on what the scriptures say and the principles that come from God's word. Because I believe that there are some important biblical principles for us as dads. For parents in general. For children to can't, think about. We can't live like this. We can't be the dads that he would want us to be. So this morning, this this afternoon, 
Maybe I need a nap. <laughs> so I while I nap tell you. Um, we're going to look at Proverbs chapter 23. Now, Proverbs was mostly written by King Solomon, David's son. It is a book that is full of wise sayings. I was just reading over the last couple of weeks about Solomon. And after he was made king, God summoned him to come before him and ask him for whatever he wanted. And so do you think that Solomon asked for all the money in the world? No? Do you think that Solomon asked for all the best horses and chariots? Horses? No? Solomon asked for God to make him wise. Solomon again And the scripture says that God poured out his wisdom on Solomon. And and so inspired by God's Spirit, Solomon wrote so many of these wise statements down to help us to understand what it looks like to live in a way that honors God. Now, I, I want you to know that many of the things that Solomon wrote in Proverbs go completely the opposite of what our culture tells us we should do. The wisdom that Solomon shares with us from God is, is not the wisdom that the world out there tells us is important and how we should live. And especially here, as he speaks about being a father, being a parent, it's very different than what the world tells us. And so I'm going to ask Sam just to read Proverbs 23, beginning with verse 12 through verse 26. I'm ठीक <laughs> Edi tero ridea budiman tovane, mero ridea kusunesha, mero antakarn, tes bela ramonita, java tero ortle, uchit kura boldasa, tero ridae la papi ruko daha garden a day, tara prom prabuka via coninti, utsasik by raha, nisene, bobi shema tero ninti asa ta, ra tero asa berta danesena, he mero toro, sun ra budimani bon. Rotero Ridaya Tik Marga Marak, Besari Dakma Tuneru Atawa, Sakesama Masu, or Sauner Sanga Sangat Nagar, Kinavane, Motwala, Ra Kontua Heru, Darinda Bonchan, Ra Esto, Lataile, Tini Heru, Rito Bonchan, Tero Buako Kurasun, just let Alai Jivon Die. Rafni ama bridi huda unko hela nagar. Satya kinra tio bikri nagar. Buddhi anusasan rasamasdar praptagar. Tarmi manisko bua asad de anadit uncha. Buddhi man tora afno bua ma prasanna rancha. Tero bua ra ama sit hun. 
तलाई जन्म दिने आमाहरुले रमाहाउड गरुन हे मेरो छोरा तेरो विदय मलाई दे र तेरा आँखाले मेरो बाटो पालन गरुन अमें अमें now that's not the easiest passage of scripture, is it? Yo, permission ko bachan se butnu hamilai garo parda sa. Solomon gives some difficult instruction in this passage. Solomon raja le ya se uta butna pani ti garo hune bachan dekhe ko sa. He gives some instruction that some say is old fashioned and doesn't apply anymore. Ani esma likhe ko gyan hiru se. He gives us some wisdom that many would say is just too much trouble, it's too difficult. But what's vital for us as parents and especially us as dads is that he gives us truth from God. Verse 26 really acts as sort of a, a summary and the, the, the main thing that we're trying to accomplish. So many of the statements that Solomon makes here are aimed him talking as a father to his son or to his child. And so in verse 26, Solomon says this. He says, my son, give me your heart. And let your eyes observe my ways. So what Solomon says is the most important thing for him as a dad. Is that he wins his child's heart. And what does he mean by that? He means that he wants to point his child's heart to God, to the and truth that he said here. So as a dad, Solomon isn't just concerned with his son's behavior. Yeah, Not just how he acts. But more importantly, what he thinks, what he believes, what he loves. Solomon is concerned for the soul of his son. Solomon Raja Moms and dads, this is especially important for us. Sometimes we get hung up on just modifying our children's behavior, how they act. It's just do this, don't do that, do this, don't do that. But far more important is us winning their hearts and letting them see the truth of who God is and what it means to love Him. We're looking for the heart, the things of eternal value. Now does that mean behavior is not important? No. Behavior is important because behavior reflects what's going on in the heart, right? And so Solomon also says to his son, Watch what I do. Essentially he's saying, follow my example. 
So this passage really talks to us, especially as dads. To think about what our motivation is as a father. And talks about our responsibility to be a godly example in front of our children. Both of those are challenging, right? Dads, will you confess with me that this is this is hard sometimes? It's difficult to stay focused on the soul of our child and not just them doing the right thing. It's hard sometimes to remember that our children are watching every Thing that we do and say. God has given us to our children to be stewards of their hearts. Stewards? Managers of their hearts. That's okay. Let's think about it like this. If your child is physically hurt, you are immediately ready to step in, right? We want to physically protect our children, don't we? If you're walking down the sidewalk and your child kind of wanders out and starts walking in the street, what do you do? Snatch him up and pull him back on the sidewalk, right? Because you recognize that you have a responsibility to keep them physically safe. Right, that's a part of our main role as parents and especially you dads. And so we're concerned about that. We think about that. When our children get hurt, we are concerned and we try to help them. But I worry that sometimes we think more about their physical safety than we do about their spiritual safety, the safety of their heart. We don't take enough time to worry about if they step into the middle of the road of the internet. Or if they step into the middle of the road of bad friends who might lead them in a wrong direction. Or if we see them step into the middle of the road of pride and arrogance. Or if we see them step into the road of chasing after other idols or other gods. Dads, your responsibility for the spiritual care of your children is far more important than your responsibility to their physical care. Because while the, their physical bodies will pass away and turn to dust. The souls of your children are eternal. 
So let's think about what it means to watch over our children and care for their hearts and souls. So in this passage, I think that there's two really important ideas in being a father. The passage helps us to understand about the importance of communicating and of disciplining our children. So in verse 12, Solomon gives a, a general call. He says, apply your heart to instruction and your ear to words of knowledge. This is what we want as dads for ourselves and for our children. We want to recognize that we are learning and growing in our understanding of the things of God. And that our children are learning and growing in their understanding and knowledge of God. And there's a, a beautiful result of this as well. So Solomon as the dad says this in verse 15. He says, son, if your heart is wise, my heart will be glad. So dads, maybe we need to think about the choice. Is it more wonderful for our children to come home with straight A's or to love Jesus? Solomon also says a good result in verse 16 is this. He says, my inmost being will exalt or will celebrate when your lips speak what is right. So dads, what's more important to you when your son gives the perfect speech at school? Or when you watch your son share about Jesus with his friend who doesn't know Jesus. Now again, I'm not saying any of these other things are bad. Solomon just is talking about the priority of the heart. So let's just be practical and think about, dads especially, what are some ways that you can communicate with your child? Let me encourage you to try to use all of these ways as you communicate. Dads, I want to encourage you to be encouragers. Lift your children up, inspire them with hope and with courage. I also want to tell you this one, and kids, you're not going to like this one as much. Dads, I want to encourage you to communicate with correction. So 
Sometimes it's important for you to steer your child back into the middle of the path. I'm lost. To steer your child back into the middle of the path. So encouragement and correction. Uh, All right, let me also encourage you to communicate with sometimes rebuke. Now, this is a little more, um, a little more energetic. This is when you're saying more of stop it. Brothers, if you're a dad for very long, you're going to see children, your children do things you absolutely do not want them to do. You know why? Because they've got sinful hearts just like you do. And so a part of God's grace is he's going to use you to rebuke that behavior and call them back to obedience. There's another word that the Bible uses and I'm not sure how this will translate. It's a Bible word that in English is, is entreaty. It's the idea of, of pleading with, of calling upon. So we are urging our children towards God. Then another way that we communicate is through instruction. Now some of you dads, say again? Okay. Now some of you dads are thinking, oh, well, I, I let my wife do all of that. Right, I just go to work and I come home and I eat and my wife handles the instruction part. I'm sorry, dads, but God's word does not give you a pass on this. And especially you dads of sons, you have a God-given responsibility to instruct your sons. What's the most important thing that you can instruct your children in, dads? This book. This book. This truth is what you are instructing them first and foremost on. And you say, but wait, I taught him how to ride a bike. That's great, good for you. Or you say, I taught him how to kick a soccer ball. That's great. Good for you. The most important thing that you can instruct your children on is God's word. Sometimes your communication will also be more in the way of warning. You have studied and understand some of the warnings in Scripture. And you should be sharing those with your children. Dads, how many of you have made fairly serious mistakes in your life? <laughs> 
बुआर तब तब को जिंदगी में धेरे गलती तब छाइन I warn them about mistakes that I've made. अनि उनीहरु लाई चाहिँ के म चेताउनु दिन्छु भन्दा खेरि चाहिँ मैले गरेको गल्तीहरु म चेताउनु दिदैछु। Have you ever been walking on a path with someone following behind you? के तपाई एउटा बाटोमा हिँडिरहनु भएको थियो जति बेला चाहिँ तपाईलाई कसैले चाहिँ पछि गरिरहेको छ? And you step in a hole and kind of twist your ankle a little bit. अनि तपाई हिँड्दै हिँड्दै त्यो एउटा दुलोमा चाहिँ खुट्टा पसाएर चाहिँ तपाई अलिकति उयो What's the right thing to do for the person walking behind you? अनि तपाईहरु त्यस्तो भएको बेला चाहिँ कुन चाहिँ कुरा गर्नु चाहिँ धेरै राम्रो पिसारीको मान्छेलाई? Yeah, tell them there's a hole, don't step in that hole. तपाईको सत्य कुरा गर्नु चाहिँ के हो भनेर तपाईले चाहिँ पिसारीको मानिसलाई बताउनु पर्ने हुन्छ कि त्यहाँ खाल्टो छ भनेर How wrong would it how wrong would it be to just step on the side and watch and watch him step in the hole and laugh at him? You think you think what the hell do they say that you step on the side and watch him step in the hole and laugh at him? You think what the hell do they say that you step on the side and watch him step in the hole and laugh at him? You think what the hell do they say that you step on the side and watch him step in the hole and laugh at him? You think what the hell do they say that you step on the side and watch him step in the hole and laugh at him? My point is simply that one of the ways that we communicate is by warning our children of dangers and of problems that are ahead. अनि मैले यसबाट बताउनु बताउनु खोजेको कुरा चाहिँ के हो भन्दाखेरि चाहिँ तपाईले तपाईको छोरा छोरीलाई चेताउन दिनु सक्नु पर्दछ जुन कुरामा कि त्यो कुरामा जुन कुरामा तपाईले पहिलै गल्ती गरिसक्नु भएको छ. One final way of communication that I want to encourage you to do. अनि आर्को एउटा अन्तिम कुरा म तपाईहरुलाई चाहिँ बताउन चाहन्छु तपाईको छोरा छोरीसँग बातचित गर्दाको निम्ति and that is to pray for and with your children. तपाईले तपाईको छोरा छोरीहरुको निम्ति प्रार्थना गर्नु पर्दछ र छोरा छोरीसँग पनि प्रार्थना गर्नु पर्दछ. You should be regularly speaking with God about your children and calling upon him to show grace to your children. सदैभरी तपाईहरुले चाहिँ आफ्नो परमेश्वरसँग आफ्नो छोरा छोरीको विषयमा तपाईले बातचित गर्नुपर्ने हुन्छ प्रार्थना गर्नुपर्ने हुन्छ र आफ्नो छोरा छोरीसँग पनि प्रार्थना गर्नुपर्ने हुन्छ There's really no greater thing that you can do for your children than to call upon the God of the universe to bless them त्यो त्यस्तो कुरा कुनै कुरा छैन जुन चाहिँ महत्त्वपूर्ण हो कि त्यो कुरा चाहिँ तपाईले तपाईको छोरा छोरीलाई परमेश्वरसँग प्रार्थना गर्नु र आशीष माग्नु भन्दा अरु ठुलो कुरो कुनै पनि छैन बट लेट मी अल्सो इन्करेज यू टु प्रे विथ योर चिल्ड्रन अनि म तपाईलाई अर्को कुरामा के उत्साह पनि गर्छु भन्दा खेरि चाहिँ उनीहरुको निम्ति प्रार्थना गर्ने मात्रै हैन तर उनीहरुसँग प्रार्थना गर्ने पनि हुनु पर्दछ वेयर इज द बेस्ट प्लेस हु इज द बेस्ट पर्सन फर योर चिल्ड्रन टु लर्न हाउ टु प्रे फ्रम त्यहाँ संसारमा को चाहिँ यस्तो व्यक्ति छ जो राम्रो व्यक्ति छ जोसँग चाहिँ आफ्नो छोराले प्रार्थना गर्न सिक्दछ यु एज अ फादर यु एज अ मदर प्यारेन्ट्स दिस इज योर रोल त्यो व्यक्ति चाहिँ तपाईँ हुनुपर्दछ एउटा बुवा आमा भएर कि तपाईँले त्यो कुरा गर्नुपर्ने हुँदछ इट्स इट्स अ भाइटल पार्ट अफ हाउ यु टिच एन्ड इन्स्ट्रक्ट एन्ड लीड एन्ड वर्न देम यो कुरा चाहिँ धेरै महत्त्वपूर्ण छ कि तपाईँले चाहिँ आफ्नो छोरा छोरीसँग कुन तरिकाले उनीले चेताउने दिने र अगाडि बढाउने उत्साह गर्ने कुरा चाहिँ महत्त्वपूर्ण छ बट इट अल्सो डज समथिंग एल्स व्हेन वी प्रे इन फ्रन्ट अफ आवर चिल्ड्रन अनि जब हामी छोरा छोरीको अगाडि उभेर हामी प्रार्थना गर्दछौँ त्यहाँ अर्को एउटा कुरा पनि छ इट हेल्प्स देम टु लर्न व्हाट्स इम्पोर्टेन्ट टु अस and what we're talking to god about ani esle je bataunda cha ki ki chora chori le je herera sikda cha ki ke kuro chai bua ma mahatwapurna cha bhanera when our children hear us pray they know where our hearts are and what we're concerned about for them and for the world around us jab ami chora chori ko agadi ami prarthna gardachu taba chora chori le buddha cha ki tapai ko hriday ma ke cha ra ke kuro mahatwapurna cha bhanne kuro lai buddha cha again verse 26 in Proverbs 23. Ah, ita pade stera ko chobis ma lekhe anusar. Shows us what real communication looks like with our children. Tesle je bata hunda chhi apne chora chori sanga sahi tarika le jun baatchit garne je kya hone kuro bata hunda sa. And that it happens as they listen and as they watch 
what we do. Ani isle batanda se ki afnu chora chole se tapor lai sune ra ra tapor lai hear ra dere kuro sikda sa. Let me give you one other idea from Proverbs chapter four. Ma tapor lai arko e uta kuro batanu chaan jo hita pades char dekhi. I'll just have Sam read Proverbs four verses one through four and listen closely to what it says. Hita pades. प्राप्त कर तिमी उत्तम शिक्षा दू इस कारण मेरे अर्थ न त्याग जब मैं बुआ को घर में एक ठिटो थे ठिटो थे कलिल अवस्था को रेरो आमा को एकमात्र छोरा वहाँ ने मैं शिक्षा दूनभ रो तेरे पूरा हृदय ने मेरे वचन पर्क रात मेरे आज्ञा पालन कर रो जीवने सास अमेन Now, let me tell you one other one other aspect of this communication that's important. Yo baatit ma arko euta kuro ma tapairu samu thapnu chahanu chu. So I've talked about some ways to communicate. Now let's think for just a moment about what to communicate. Ani hamile chai aile samma chai hamile euta baatit garne tarika haru aba chai kun ke chai baatit garne tyo kuro chai herndesu. And we'll go back to Proverbs 32 for this, okay? Ani tesko lagi chai hami Hitapadesh 32 ma jane chu. So in verse 17 and 18 I think it helps us to understand that we are teaching our children to trust God with their walk and with their talk. अरे तेज मत क्या लेके को पाऊंगा चुम्बन के लिए चाहिए आपने थोड़ा थोड़ी को या जून अनबैक्टी का जीवन में हिर दा के लिए चाहिए और मैं शर्म में विश्वास करने को रामाय पाऊंगा चुम्बन So verse seventeen, we encourage them not to envy or to look to try to be like sinners. महत्वपूर्ण He also is encouraging them to say, "Hey, there's a future, boys and girls." Yes, my kids are not going to die. They are going to be good. 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 And if you trust in God, there's hope for that future. If you trust in God, there's hope for that future. If you trust in God, there's hope for that future. If you trust in God, there's hope for that future. If you trust in God, there's hope for that future. If you trust in God, there's hope for that future. If you trust in God, there's hope for that future. We're also going to teach our children to run away from things of the flesh. अनि आर्को कुरा हामी छोरा छोरा के सिकाउँदा छु भन्दाखेरि के सिकाउनु पर्छ भन्दाखेरि चाहिँ उनीहरु चाहिँ शारीरिक अभिलाषा देखि चाहिँ भागेको होस्। Solomon in verses 19 And through 21, really gives some important warnings. Solomon Raja le verse unnais de ki teh samaj ke je taun eru diye kosa. He warns them to be wise, and he warns them to be careful of the path that they're on. Ani unhi eru lai je je taun eru Solomon Raja le dida sa ki apne chora eru lai ki unhi eru si apne inne tari kama wise sunay ra just of the path they're on. He warns them not to hang out with drunks. Unir Solomon Raja le unir le cheta unir din zake ki matne man cheru sangan no hina banera. He warns his son not to just hang out with a bunch of people that all they want to do is eat and just fill their bellies, fill themselves with the things of the world. On this ma utsa puni gordon se ki apnu thora thori se just so bhakti sangan no hina, so bhakti se sip khana ko nindi mati jhunda cha. Because he says both of those people are just going to ruin their lives and come to poverty. Kina banda kiri the so the so back here ruche anti ma unhi ruche unhi ruche gari bi tari kalle jiu na cha. If they chase after the things of this world, it's all going to be lost one day. Edi unhi ruche sansaran vai ko kura lai mote hero banana cha ek din unhi ruche sabhi kura gumao na cha. And then I also want to encourage you to teach them to follow the truth. Ani. उत्साह 
He says, listen to your dad because I'm the one who gave you life. And then he says a really important thing, dads. He tells his son, listen and love your mama. So on a side note, dads, there's nothing more beautiful that you can teach your sons than to love their mother. Today, recognize how sin moves from small things to big things. And you wish that you would have stopped when it was small instead of it getting big in your life. Dads, this is why it's so important for us to live in this way for our children. Better for them to feel the temporary pain of our discipline. Right. That's given out of love and concern for their soul. Then for their sin to continue to grow and grow and grow and then them face the pain of this world. There's a lot more that we could say, dads. But the air condition is not working very well. <laughs> and our time is running out. And your ears are growing tired. So let me give you one piece of really good news in this. When you are faithful, to love the heart and soul of your children, and to communicate the things of God in the way that God would have you communicate them. When you are faithful to redirect your children to follow after Christ, to wisely discipline them, not, not beating them or harming them in some way like that, it's hard. It's heartbreaking. It feels like it steals away our joy. It's certainly not delightful. Wouldn't you, as I would, much rather be obedient to God the Father and to parent your children the way that he calls us to. This passage helps us to understand how to do that. So let's not let this be about culture. I don't want to say, oh, well, that's just the American way of parenting. Because often the American way of parenting is a mess. And I don't want you just to say, oh, well, that's just, that's just the Bhutanese Nepali way of parenting. 
अनि तपाईले यो पनि नसोच्नु हो कि यो चाहिँ श्री बुद्धिस नेपालीहरुले चाहिँ हुल्काउने तरिका हो भनेर Cuz let's be honest sometimes that's a mess किनभने हामीले थाहा छ कि त्यो तरिका पनि त्यसमा चाहिँ धेरै नराम्रोहरु छ We are a new people called by God to live in a new way हामी चाहिँ परमेश्वरमा नयाँ जीवन जिउने नयाँ तरिकाले जिउने मानिसहरु हुँ We are called to live and parent according to God's word परमेश्वरको वचनमा लेखे अनुसार हामीले चाहिँ छोरा छोरा हुल्काउने हामी बुवा आमा हौ And here's the beauty He will give us the grace to parent like this अनि यहाँ चाहिँ सुन्दरता छ सुन्दरता चाहिँ के भन्दाखेरि चाहिँ उहाँले तपाईहरुलाई अनुग्रह दिनु हुनेछ छोरा छोरा हुल्काउनको निम्ति Dads he'll give us the grace to be the kinds of dads that he wants us to be and that I think deep down we want to be बुवाहरु परमेश्वरले तपाईलाई जस्तो परमेश्वरले चाहनुहुन्छ त्यो तरिकाले आफ्नो छोरा छोरा हुर्काउनको निम्ति तपाईहरुलाई उहाँले अनुग्रह दिनु भएको छ त्यति मात्रै होइन तर मलाई थाहा छ तपाईको हृदयमा तपाईले तपाईको छोरा छोरालाई त्यही तरिकाले हुर्काउनु चाहनुहुन्छ सो माइ प्रेयर फर यु एज द गाड वुड पोर आउट हिज ग्रेस एन्ड मर्सी एस्पेसियली फर यु ड्याड्स टुडे त्यही भएर मेरो प्रार्थना बुवाहरु तपाईहरुलाई यो छ कि परमेश्वरले उहाँले तपाईहरुलाई चाहिँ साच्चै नै एउटा तपाईहरुलाई चाहिँ अनुग्रह र करुणाले तपाईँलाई भरेको होस् दैट ही वुड गिभ यु द स्ट्रेंथ एन्ड विजडम टु लभ योर चिल्ड्रन वेल कि उहाँले तपाईलाई चाहिँ ज्ञान र बुद्धि चाहिँ दिनु सकेको होस् कि तपाईले आफ्नो छोराहरूलाई सही तरिकाले हुर्काउन सकोस् भनेर एन्ड दैट इज योर चिल्ड्रन ग्रो एन्ड फलो क्राइस्ट यु वुड हैव मच टु रिजोइस इन अनि जब तपाईको छोरा छोरी सही तरिकाले हुर्किन्दछ परमेश्वरलाई प्रेम गर्दै तब त्यतिखेर तपाईको हृदय चाहिँ हर्षले भरिन्दछ Praise God that he is a perfect father. Parameshwar la mai ma os karan wa mate euta perfect bua huncha. And he gives us a perfect example of how to do this right. Ani wa le chai tapai ra malai chai perfect tarika le kun tarika le urkaune tyo pani bataunu bhayeko cha. May we be faithful to follow that example. Ki hami chai tesma bishwas yogya tarika le parameshwar lai pachi garnu sakeko os. Praise God. Parameshwar la mai ma bhayeko os. आउनु होस् हाम्रो भाइ बहिनीहरू गीत गाउन आउनुहुन्छ म प्रार्थना गर्छु है त प्रभु तपाईँलाई धन्यवाद आज पास्टर टटको लागि सामुएल भाइको लागि अनि यो भवनको लागि यहाँ भएका बाल बच्चाहरूको लागि र हामी बुवाहरूको लागि आमाहरूको लागि विशेष गरेर आज बुवाहरूलाई तपाईँको त्यो उदाहरण हेरेर निरन्तर आफ्नो छोरा छोरीलाई हुर्काउन सहायता गर्नुहोस् तपाईँको अनुग्रहले भर्नुहोस् र तपाईँमै भरोसा राखेर त्यो भरोसामा हुर्काउनलाई सिकाउनुहोस् जसरी अहिले हामी भजन गाउँछौँ गीत गाउँछौँ हाम्रो हृदयमा यी वचनहरूलाई भित्र गाडिन सहायता गर्नुहोस् यशुको नाम हो